Welcome back to Zoom TV. You're in time to catch up with me and my celebrity hitchhiker, who today is Nathan Butler from Winners and Losers. Mate, how are you? I'm good. How are always you? say hello and greet a man as experienced actor as what you are. You're on Winners and Losers. Yep. You've done some stuff in the States. You've been in movies. You would what people would call a successful actor. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's taken some time, but uh, yeah. So share the story. How did it all start and how did you end up where you are now? Uh, it started out, I grew up on a cattle property in far north Queensland and I went to boarding school in Townsville and I just had a drama teacher who told me I should audition for NIDA and I did and got in when I was 17 and that was it. That kind of decided my career path for me and from there just started getting bit parts in Australia and eventually moved to America landed a role in General Hospital, and then just come over on to Winners and Losers. Okay, so let's get on to what you're doing now. Winners and Losers, yep. one of the most popular shows on the Seven Network. Why is it popular? And can you give me any goss about your character? Uh, can, we, can we squeeze you for a little bit of Zoom goss? Yeah, look, it's popular because it's a fun show. You know, it's a dramedy. The girls are amazing to work with. Yep. Um, and we just have a great time, you know? And... It was a suspenseful end to this season. Um, it was a bit of a cliffhanger. You don't know whether my character is alive or dead. So that's the big, that'll be the big reveal next year. And I can't say anything. Um, well, could, are you unemployed? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I'm a dad now, so I'll be quite happy to be a dad for a second if I am unemployed, but hopefully I'm not. And I'll be back next year in Melbourne. But. Um, yeah, it's a fun show. It's definitely the, the, the best show I've ever worked on. Now it's time to answer questions. The Fast Five, you ready for them? Yes. Okay. First car you ever owned? First car, Mitsubishi Magna, 1970. It was a station wagon. I had two massive speakers in the back that were as big <laughs> as this couch. Just so you couldn't hear the timing belt going. Exactly. Kitten, kitten, kitten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is your opinion of the best car on the road? The best car on the road, um, I'd have to say the BMW. They're a good car. I had a uh, BMW car. convertible and I did love it, but then I, my wife has an Audi, so I mean, we like that. But I sold those and now I have a Prius, so. You grew up. I grew up, <laughs> had a baby, and now I've turned into a big sissy man. Okay, what is your opinion of the worst car on the road? The worst car on the road? I, I used to say the Kia, because when they came out, they were a bit, you know, plastic, fantastic, but now they're great cars. They've made a comeback. They've made a comeback, man. What is the car you drive now? You've, said, you've said it, the Prius. Yeah, and I have a, a GMC as well. I have a truck, which is American General Motors, which is fantastic. SUV is good, especially with a kid high on the road, you know. Final question. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear would be my, something happening to my son. Uh, he's nine weeks old now, and... Um, yeah, I mean, I still wake up and I'm like, you know, is he breathing? Oh my God, he's breathing. Thank God. And that's, I mean, that's every dad, I'm sure, you know, does that. Well, mate, you're definitely a winner from Winners and Losers. Thanks, Thanks uh, Nathan. Really great. appreciate yeah, meeting you. Good. Go in there and feed your baby. Check. Oh, no, Who is looking baby. after the baby my while you're here? There you go. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thanks, brother.